Hi, good evening. Hello. How are you? Fine. Oh, fine. All right, Hello. very good. Hey, I see Xiomara. Hi, Xiomara. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Nice to see you. I'm happy you're here with us. Nice to see you too, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Welcome. All right. So I have Daniel, Carlos, Gadiel, Rocio, Walter, eh, Elmer, Annie. Very good. And Xiomara. Very good. I have nine already in class. So that's very, very good. All right, so um, we're going to complete uh, the topic by teaching the passive voice simple present, okay? Okay. Is that okay, yeah? Okay, yeah. yes. All right, so the other day, I mean, the previous classes, we have talked about passive voice simple past. So remember we say, for example, uh, my daughter ate the cake, or I say the cake was eaten by my daughter because I was talking in simple past when I said my active voice, my daughter ate the cake. Then that means that in my passive sentence, I have to use the past of the verb be, which is was or were, depending on the person you're talking about, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. Now the differences between or the difference between uh, and passive is the emphasis of the sentence. Okay, what you want to convey, what is more important, the subject or the doer? All right. So that's the difference between those two. So pretty much uh, the present, the passive voice simple present is pretty much the same, okay? Again, you can say or you can share who did the action or you can omit it, okay? If you wanna say it, then you use by, all right? The cake was eaten by my daughter or you just say the cake was eaten and you don't know by whom, okay? And the same thing happens in simple present. Passive voice simple present, you may say who, it's the cake or you may not okay so this is what i have for you let me see i have this red. oh no that's not it oops <laughs> give me one second let me see here yeah okay so here we have all right passive voice so we keep on talking about this and i just want you to follow me here Okay, so here we have, can you see? Can you guys see what I have here? Yes? Yes. 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 All right, very good. Yes. So the active voice, it's Mitch, which is the cat probably. I know it's not the cat, I'm sorry. I, I read the other example before the class. <laughs> Mitch answers Lauren's questions. That's an active sentence, active voice sentence. And if you notice, we have the subject, which is whom? What's the subject of this sentence? Lawrence. Mitch. Lawrence. No. What's the subject? No, no Mitch. Mitch. Mitch is the, uh, the subject of the sentence. What about the verb? Which is the verb? Answers. Answers. All right. And the rest of the sentence, we're not going to talk about it right now. Okay. But can you tell me? This sentence in which tense is it? Is it simple present. past, simple present, future? What is it in? Simple what? present. Simple present because we say Mitch answers, right? Lauren's question. Now, here we can have it, and they, they this is what they did here. They switched this, uh, the, the, this sentence, they switched it to passive voice, but they also switched it in simple past. Lauren's question was answered by Mitch, okay? So this is what we were studying previously. Now, here we have uh, examples. Let's see, Rocio, can you read the first example on active voice? Yes, mm -hmm. active voice. Yes. 
You stole the cookie from the cookie yard. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. And passive voice? Passive voice. The cookie was stolen from the cookie yard. All right. So that one, the first one, the active voice, thank you, Rocio, is simple past active, and the other one is simple past passive. Okay. Now, here we have, and this is important for you to know. Active and passive voices, okay? So we say voice and it's active. What the subject does and the passive is the focus is on the action, not on the doer, all right? So here we have the subject, the baker. The verb, makes. The object, bread. Active voice, simple present. Now, see what happens here when we switch it to passive? The object becomes at the, or goes at the beginning of the sentence, so we say bread. The verb we use is made because my first sentence is, or my active sentence is in simple present. So that means I'm going to be using is or are. Yes? You understand? Instead of using was and were, we're going to use is or are, and then the agent, that now we don't call it subject, we call it agent, is the baker, all right? So we say the baker makes bread or bread is made by the baker in this case, okay? So this is what we're going to be studying today, passive in simple present, which, which you use is or are, okay? So I really mm -hmm. like this because it kind of like summarizes everything. Active, the boy kicks the ball. Or you say the ball is kicked by the boy. All right, so again, this one is simple present, kicks, and this one is simple present, passive. The tense, you, the first thing you need to do is to realize in which tense you guys are speaking on, all right? So the tense of the sentence is present. Then you have to identify the verb of the sentence, which is kicks. Then you ask the question, who kicks the ball? All right, and then you say, oh, the ball is kicked by the boy, all right, because who kicked it? The boy did, all right, or by the boy. Do you understand? Yes, it is. Yeah? yeah? Yes. No. Okay, no problem. So, so. So, so. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Elmer, why so, so or not? Yes, teacher, no problem. Yes, teacher, no problem. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. you're just pleasing me here. Okay. So could you could you check the presentation after the class, please? Yes, sure. of course. Okay. Thank you. Same thing. The same thing happening here. Passive voice present simple or simple present. He opens the door. All right. So you you see these little arrows? They are there for not for decoration, but they are there to show you that they switch places. Okay. When it comes to active, he opens the door. The subject becomes the agent. The verb is the verb, but it changes to um, the simple present of the verb be plus the past participle of the verb that we had here, all right? And then the object comes at the very beginning. So he opens the door or the door is opened by him, yeah? Yeah. So it's... here, to make it a passive voice simple present, we need to use is in this case plus past participle. Yeah. All right, let's see this one. Let's see. Um, Annie, can you listen to me? Yes. Excellent. Nick? Yes, yes, Annie, thank you. Okay. So Nick? Annie, we say uh Nick reads books every, books every day. day. Can you switch that to passive voice? Um, let me let me uh, say yeah. on. Mm -hmm. um, he, he reads no. he, no. No. He, uh, books. Mm. Annie, no. I want you to do this, okay? Forget about every day. Quita el every day ahorita. Leamos nada más. Nick reads books, okay? Yes. Nick is the subject. Reads is yes. the verb and books is the object, okay? Yes, now, yes. The object is going to go at the beginning of the passive sentence. Mm -hmm. So you're going to begin your sentence with the 
subject of the active one? The book. Aha. Uh -huh. So the books. Aha. Book. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you have plural, yes? Books, uh, because you're talking yes. about two or three or four. Uh, uh, uh huh. Uh, the book is three. Three. No. Three. No. Ah, no. How many I books do you have? have? By I him. Have. Okay. I yeah. Have. Very. Yeah. You're almost like you're getting it, Annie. Very good. Books. You have many books. Now, when you use plural, you use is or you you use are, Annie. Uh, are excellent. Okay, so books are read. Are, are read. Excellent. Um, by read by Nick. Nick. Mainly every, by Nick every day. Right? By, they are read oh by Nick. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it does. You know? Did you realize the change that you made, Annie? The books yes. goes or books go at the beginning, and then you kind of switch beginning that. All right? Yes. Okay, so there you go. Oh, you see, okay. you have it. Answer, this is what you did. Very well done. Books yes. are read by Nick every day. Okay? My dear teacher. Hola, my dear student. In this case, it's in present. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is a is a is y e es el verbo tuve en presente y el pasado participio. Exacto. Si es singular el verbo voy a usar is más el pasado participio. Sí, claro, claro. El verbo to be en presente. Exacto. Mm. Uh -huh. ¿Se acuerda que estábamos hablando en las otras clases del verbo to be en pasado? Porque en mi oración en activa, en voz activa, estaba en, en pasado. Entonces necesito el pasado del verbo be. Yeah. ¿Sí? ¿Y es el me? Se me fue el me. Ok. Hola, se usa en presente y en pasado la misma situación, vea. Sí, solo que el verbo to be pasa en pasado, si necesito Ajá. la voz pasiva pasado y el verbo be en presente, si es voz pasiva presente, sí. Hoy, thank yeah. you, my dear teacher. You're very welcome. La voz pasiva siempre la vamos a usar con alguna forma del verbo be más el pasado participio, ya sea en este caso estamos viendo el is y el are y anteriormente estamos viendo el was y el were, ¿cierto? Yeah. All right, so it's always like a, a, some kind of um, the verb be used somehow, okay? Yeah, no problem. No. Okay, let's That's see. I need a volunteer. A volunteer, only one, only one volunteer. Uh, me, teacher, me. Okay. Annie lions, again? Lions eat zebras. Zebras, uh huh. Zebras. Zebras. So how do we switch it to passive? The object is zebras. That's right, yes. The zebras. Mm. How many zebras? Eight, the zebras. Eight. Uh, Annie, you need eight. to think of how zebras. many zebras. Is it singular zebras. or is it plural? Plural. Uh, plural. Plural. Zebras. Plural. Kidding. Zebras, I need is or I need are? Are. are. Okay, zebras are. are. Uh -huh. And what's the past participle of eat? Eat. 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 So zebras are eaten by eaten by, by lions. By lions, right? Now, if you only have a zebra, then you say zebra or the zebra is eaten lions. Okay, so that will depend on how many zebras in this case. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So zebras are eaten by lions. Very good. Let's see. Uh, eaten by lions. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Who wants to read this one? I need a volunteer, another volunteer, so everybody participates. Me. Okay, Gabriel, excellent. The, look at this one right now, okay? Oh, but I, wow. Anyway, the passive voice. The mouse was eaten by the cat. Switch it back to active. Active. Uh, the cat 
Hit. Eight. Hit the mouse. Hit the mouse. The cat ate the mouse, right? Because the mouse. if you yeah. notice, we're using the past for B. Yeah? So we know, ah, so this is simple past, all right? So there you go. The mouse ate the cat. <coughs> yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Another volunteer for the next one? Orlando wants to participate. Orlando, Jorge ate the sandwich. Switch that to passive. Is it simple past or is it simple present? First, let's identify the tense, Orlando. Okay. Uh, the sandwich was eaten by Jorge. Okay. Simple past or simple present? Um, simple present. All right. Guys, give me one quick second. Can you give me one second, please? Continue, Orlando. All right, sorry guys, sorry, I'm here, I'm here. All right, so the sandwich was eaten by Jorge, right? So that's simple past passive. Xiomara, can you try to do this sentence, please? Tell me, is it present or past? Past. Yes, past. Okay, now switch it to passive voice. Simple past. Yeah. A criminal. Yes. How many criminals, guys? I was listening to some answers. Plural. Your... Yeah. Plural. Yeah. So the criminals where where what arrested. Arrested. uh huh police when <laughs> yesterday excellent okay so you need to be careful with how many people you're talking about or how many things are being said criminals is plural there are many yeah okay carlos okay. emilio are you new to the class Yes, right? Okay, so welcome. My name is Jessica. Okay, so I'm your teacher. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. For okay. Do you guys have questions? Questions, Daniel Mendez, Daniel Coreas, Carlos Luna, any questions? No, Rocio, okay. Daniel, no. Any questions, Walter? No. No questions. Wow, you guys are the no. best. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is what we did. Um, hold on, I just want to show you something here. That's the screenplay. I'm gonna stop sharing this, but I wanna. I you can listen to me right now, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Just wanted to see something all right now uh, we practiced the other days the passive voice simple past in groups so now what i want you to do is pretty much do the same but now simple or present passive voice we're not going to be talking about was or were we're going to be talking about is or are you understand yes yes, yes. okay so this is what i want you to yes ellie hey uh, um the exercise we are in the past or present right now we're going to use present passive voice present yes so i tell you uh i don't know let me see um you say the dog plays with the ball all right, so the, you would say, I know, kind of funny with that, that verb. All right, but what I want you to do is I want you to think of a <laughs> sentence in time, I think, with the ball, the balls are played by the dogs, kind of sounds funny. For example, mm. uh -huh. you say, you saying ball wins the race. The say race it again? Uh, you saying ball 
Wind, okay. Wind, the rain. Right, yes. The perfect. rain. The rain uh -huh. is. Wind, one. Wind, really? Yes, one. one, yeah. By Hussein Bolt. By Hussein, Hussein Bolt. Bolt. Yes, perfect. Okay. So the idea is to come up with some sentences in active voice, simple present. So you put them into practice in passive voice, simple present. Yes. So yeah. again, you're going to go to your groups and think about three or four <coughs> sentences active and then switch them to passive and then vice versa. So I give Rocio three active sentences, simple present. She switches them to simple present passive voice and then vice versa. Rocio gives me her sentences and we work together. You understand? Yeah. When we come back, I'm going to show you an exercise, yes? Hola, hola. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. okay. You're very quiet today. All right. Remember that this is a matter of practicing, okay? For some of you, maybe like really easy. For some others, especially if you just joined us today, you might be like a little hesitant of what to do. So just let's practice a little bit more. This is the only to practice. So let's take advantage of it. All right. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to go to your groups. I'm creating groups right now. So click on the invitation now, please. Okay, right.
without passive without without by así así es ajá without by without yes. by hi okay. um, Carlos hi Rocío are you finished hi <laughs> Poniéndome al día. Ah, ok, that's ok, Carlos, that's fine. Yes, thank you, Rocío. Ok, Carlos, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta o alguna duda al respecto. Eh, no, ahorita solo me ha gustado que no había podido ingresar ni a la plataforma. Y ya ella, ah, Rocío, okay. me ayudó. Ah, mire, qué bueno. Ok, very good. Ok, that's nice. Very good. Ok, um, I'm just going to go check mm -hmm. one more group and then we're going to go back to the main group, ok? Okay. Thank okay. you. Welcome. Hi, Hi yes. Walter. Written. Hello. And Carlos finished? I think so. Okay. Yes. May I hear some examples, please? Sure. Actually, yeah, yeah. Okay. The first sentence I give to Walter was uh, the singer is playing the guitar. Uh -huh. And he gave me the translation, so the guitar is played by the singer. Can you can you tell me the first sentence again, Carlos? Yes, uh, the singer is playing the guitar. But is playing is not simple present. What is the simple present? The singer plays the guitar. Ah, the singer plays, okay. Yeah. Because yes, otherwise so, you would have to have present continuous passive voice. Continuous, so the guitar okay. is being played by the uh -huh. okay, okay, I got it now. So I I I give uh the three sentences in a in, in a round time. So oh in a round uh, tense. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I, I give the three, the three, the three ground, sorry. That was my mistake. Okay, all right. That's okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> my work, yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Think. Uh -huh. In my case, it's still 20, 20 minutes. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Annie. Uh, were you able to Hi, finish? teacher. Yes, four ten sentences. My father drives the boy mm -hmm. kick. Just watch the spelling on kick. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's uh, okay. That's okay. The boy is kicked. Like, like Pata? Far away. Yeah. Yeah, it's K I C K. Kick cooks lasagna every weekend. Lasagna cooks. Cake. Ah, C cake. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Very good. Well done. Nice. I like that. Ah, C cake. Yeah. We're gonna go back to the group right now, to the main group. Okay. 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 Ale. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to share this with you. But I only, um, I only want you to use this exercise right now. Only We're going to work on this one. Just give me a second here. All right, this, right, right, this one right here. Okay. It says rewrite the sentences in the passive, okay? Use the by agent only when necessary. Now here we're talking about, you may use simple present or simple past, okay? So you need to pay attention if your sentence is in simple present or if your sentence is in simple past, okay? So what I want you to, you're gonna work this together in your groups. So I want you to read the sentence together and decide, okay, simple present or simple past. Once you decide that, then you switch it to passive. In case you need to use the by and the agent, you may do so, okay? In case it's not necessary, leave it like that, without it, you understand? Yes. Okay, perfect. Can you take a picture or a screenshot of only letter B right now? Okay. Done? Done. Done. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So let's go back to your groups. I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now.
So there you go. We go back to the rooms and we work on this new exercise that I just assigned to you. Remember to check the tense and after that you bet you work on your passive voice, okay? Carlos, le salió la invitación. simple present or simple past uh, I I think the first one is present and he took Linda to school yesterday for example Olinda. my dear teacher hi hola uh, the hola. teacher is, is, is with, with you with us yes I'm here you have questions Yes, I don't understand that uh, sentence, teacher. Okay, so what you have to do, Elmer, you have to first read the sentence. For example, number one, we say he took Linda to school yesterday, okay? Yeah, so yeah. Is the sentence in simple present or simple past? Simple is present. Yes, simple, simple present. present. Are you sure it's in simple present? No, 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 present? no, 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 it's simple past. Uh -huh. Took. Took, all right, no took. Took. He took took, 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 took. To yesterday, yeah. okay? Okay. Yes, so, that, yes, that tocar, or the key. To, de llevar, el pasado de take, took. Take, el pasado yeah. participio de take y took es? Solo tocando. Man. Taken. <laughs> Taken, Elmer. All right. Taken. Okay. okay. So, una vez decidieron, o se dieron cuenta que la oración está en eh, pasado simple, en voz activa. En pasado. Pásela en pasado, pásela a voz eh, pasiva, siempre en pasado. Que sería okay. como? Linda was taken. Excellent. Uh -huh. Linda was taken to school by him yesterday. Excellent. Eh, let, let me see. Let me see. Linda. Linda was taken. Was taken. 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 Elmer. En. Taken. Mm -hmm. Taken to school by mm -hmm. him yesterday. Right. Really? Yeah, right, yes. To a school? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, like no, no, no. a bit or to school like a bit by, To school by him yesterday. To a school? By, by him, him because he's writing the by and the agent. By him yesterday. Mm -hmm. By her. No, Elmer by him. By him. him. Yes. Emer, just check the spelling of on taken is only the N, not the D. Taken. Yeah. Okay. You understand, Elmer? I'll, I'll, <laughs> so, so, teacher. Okay. Number two, they don't close the shops on Saturdays. Simple present or simple past? Simple present. Simple, okay. simple but now present. it's negative. Yeah. yeah. But that's okay. Just make it negative in passive voice. Yes, yes, it is. The choppy, the chops. The shops, uh huh. The chop. Aren't? Uh huh. Closed. Aren't? Closed. Closes. Closed. Closed. By there. By on them. Saturday. Them, them. On them Saturday. Was excellent. You see? Very good. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you guys are the best. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I'm trying. I'm trying to improve all English. Excellent, Galil. You're doing a very <laughs> good job. Yeah. The chops. 
the shops in uh -huh. not shops <laughs> shops <Are. laughs> the shop are no shops elmer not shops quiero ver <laughs> a shampoo plural. diga shampoo shops ah bye <laughs> <laughs> Ah, sí, está bien. Entonces era. Hi. Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Sería. <sighs> Slowly but surely. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, especially Xiomara, because you have not been in the last two classes because we have been talking a little bit about this. Okay, now what you have to do is first is you need to identify the tense. Simple present or simple past? Number one. Simple past. Simple past. Very good. Now, simple past, eh, that means that you have to switch it to simple past passive. Okay, so Linda, excellent. Very good. Who's type? Uh, Simara. Ah, okay. So Linda was taking, taken, uh huh. Where? Where was she taken? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Where? Don't, uh, uh, uh -huh. to school? To school. Very good. Linda was taken to school. The school uh -huh. by whom by him by him uh -huh. Uh -huh. By when yesterday. yesterday excellent very good you see how mm -hmm. easy it is no big deal <laughs> okay number two again present or past present present present, present. present. negative yes yes so you do it in negative form in, in passive voice. How would it be? The shop is... How no. many shops, Daniel and then... Uh, Daniel yeah. and Daniel, we have two Daniels here. Many, <laughs> many. The shop, well, many. Aha. Uh -huh. A lot of the shops are... Are, are what? Close. No, are. Are not. Are not. Are not closed, Very good. Are not, uh -huh. are not, are not closed. Closed. Are in, um, closed. By. Closed. Them. What just. Uh -huh, there you go. Mm -hmm. By them on Saturday. By them on Saturday. Very good. Nice. Good job, guys. Did the was <clears throat> Walter and Carlos, how are you doing? I think we are doing good. <laughs> okay, what number are you working on right now? In the six. Oh, oh very good, nice. Picture. Yes, in, Walter. In this in this is a simple pass number six. Your mother prepared your breakfast um i don't have it right now with me hold on uh-huh tell me again your mother prepared your breakfast uh-huh yes it's what and we can switch it uh the the breakfast uh was pre, pre prepared yes by your mother there you go yes perfect okay uh -huh. that's great actually yeah. we we have uh, another question about the second one. The okay. Second, uh, ah, second. Uh -huh. tell me. Yes. They, actually, we we were not able to to switch to do it. it. In, yes, because is I think it's something complex because they don't close the shops on Saturday. Uh -huh. What could be the is necessary? Well, is necessary to translate. But how how could be the 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 cor the the correct way? Yes. The shops aren't closed by them on Saturday. By them? Oh. Oh, okay. Right.
Get it, Carlos? Yes, I get it. I get it now. Try close by. Okay, number six. Number seven. Number seven. Mike. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Orlando. Hi, teacher. Eli, ¿yo por qué siempre que entro está hablando en español? Es que entra el mal momento. <risa> oh, my cuando, intento, cuando, lo, cuando lo intento en el inglés, no entra. No entra. <risa> yeah, Tengo we, un we, radar que me dice, Eli, se speak in Spanish. <risa> we try to speak in English. I know, very good, I know. Okay, what number are you guys working on? Number three. Number okay. Three. Okay, that's yeah. okay. No, that's fine. Uh, the number three. Mike, feel the dog. Yes. The dogs. How do you say? The dogs were. The dog is only. Ah, yeah. Only the one. Dog was, yeah. Uh -huh. Very the good. only was. Feel. What is the By past participle? Uh, Ellie, what is the past participle? Past participle of feed. Mm, feel. No. Feed. No, feed. no, es es. De alimentar. Feel. Doble e. Feed is doble e, pero el pasado doble. participio. Señorita. I don't. I don't know. Orlando, do you know the past participle of feed? I don't know. <laughs> Bed. Only one E. Bed. Bed. F E D, Ellie. F E D. F E D? Yes, F E D. Fed. 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 The dog was fed by Mike. Excellent. Okay. Michael Green. Every competition. Perfect. Okay. Thank Thank you. Number four is. Uh, let's see. Michael wins every competition. Michael. Oui. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Carlos. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, good teacher, good teacher. Okay. <laughs> Very good, <Carlos. laughs> What number are you uh, working on? I was work. I was showing the other screen. <laughs> okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, have you because... done any of these exercises? Yes. Uh, he 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 has. Some problems because he 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 didn't access the the platform yet. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. But after after he access to the platform, mm -hmm. he can understand. All right. Yes. Things. Properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so you make keep on working and we're about to, mm -hmm. I'll give you like two more minutes and then we're gonna go back to the main group, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do the, the other list of sentences? No. Which one, Rocio? Yes. On the right side. You're only working on the, on the right. 10 one that I, like letter B right now. Uh, Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm Carlos, to... are you able to take a picture right now? No, the picture, no. Pero puede tomar That's cap why I... hacer captura de pantalla. Sí, Esta... eh, ya, me enseñó cómo, ya me enseñó cómo hacerla, pero como no la había visto en la anterior. Ah, ok, porque lo que pasa es que quería compartir esto con usted. De hecho, ah, okay. espérame. A ver. Esto aquí, no sé si puede como tomarle foto 
Eh, Ahorita la es, es como... ¿Le puede ayudar como para entenderlo? Ahorita la voy, la voy capturando y la voy pegando. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Están los usos o las formas de la voz pasiva. Esto precisamente, eh, Carlos, es la voz pasiva en el tiempo presente simple o pasado simple, ¿verdad? Hay más, o sea, obviamente la voz pasiva se puede conjugar en varios otros tiempos, pero ahorita estamos viendo el presente y el pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces, si gusta, no sé, igual Rocío, si le puede tomar o hacer captura de eso que estoy enseñándoles ahorita, porque creo que es información que les puede ayudar, especialmente a Carlos que no había podido entrar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, ya right. me capturé. Excelente, muy bien. Ok, vamos a regresar al grupo ahorita como para revisar las opciones, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Daniel, number, Daniel Mendez, number one. He took Linda to school yesterday. Can you switch it to the uh, proper passive voice? Uh, yes. Uh, Linda was taken to school by him yesterday. Excellent. Nice. Eli Larin, number two. They don't close the shops on Saturdays. Elita, your microphone is off. The shops didn't close on Saturday. Mm -mm. ¿En qué tiempo verbal está mi voz activa aquí? Present. Present. En present. Present. Ajá, ¿cómo nos queda entonces? The shop are not closed Excellent. on Saturday. Okay, okay, or the stores or the shops aren't closed by them on Saturdays because we have the agent there. Very good. Gadiel Castillo, can you work on number three? The dog was fed by Mike. Was fed or was fed? Fed, fed. Excellent, fed very by good. Mike. Yes, Walter Michael wins every competition. Walter? No? I guess not. A ver. Hello, what, hello. Uh, uh -huh, tell me, Walter. I'm sorry. Uh, every competition is won by Michael. Okay, very nice. Uh, Rocio, can you try to do, uh, or can you do number five? Rocío, your microphone is off. Yes. People invent new things all the time. Um, the passive new things are invented mm -hmm. by people all the time. Perfect. Orlando, thank you, Rocío. Number six. Okay, that's right. Uh, number six, uh, your breakfast was prepared by your mother. Very good. Okay, nice. Elmer, number seven. Elmer. Hola. Number seven, Elmer. Let me see. And the school uniform weren't worn by using this school. 
the school uniforms weren't worn by us in this school. Okay. All right, very good. Daniel Del Cid, number eight. Eight. Uh, oh. Money oh. is money is kept by him in a safe place. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Then I have Daniel Coreas, number nine. Okay. All my clothes are bought by her. All my clothes are uh, all my clothes are bought by her. Okay. And the last one, Simana, can you do number ten? Simana, hello, hello. Gadiel, can you do number ten? Oh, okay. Hello. Ah, hi, Simara. Can um, you do number ten? We can grade ten by um, you. Uh, a nice story mm -hmm. are written by how your many, friends. How many stories? One. One. It's written. Uh -huh. One. One a story. nice story is written by my by friends. your friends by your friends all right oh by my friends that's okay all right very good all right guys so as i said at the very very beginning of this class and as you know uh, this is chance you have to practice okay and to interact with me and with your classmates so that's why it's very important for you to be in class all right, especially when we have new topics, okay? So uh, I believe that tomorrow we're going to either finish, we're, we might do another exercise, so we practice, uh, and then we start perhaps with unit, or we're going to see wow. how it works, okay? So well, thank you very yeah. much. I'll okay. see you tomorrow. Try not to miss classes, okay? So be careful with your day tomorrow. Have a great day and work and study hard, okay? Okay. Have a nice, okay. nice. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.